Devin Haney takes a bath in his fight against Regis Progray and Shakur Stevenson gets the last laugh is now we know why Devin Haney took a 45-55 split for his fight that is upcoming with Ryan Garcia. And yeah, I'm going to have a little fun with this one. Not because I do not like Devin Haney or I do not like his team because I am tired of you boxing fans <laughs> making stuff up. And now we got to document it. Let's do that in this video. Regis Progray, former WBC world champion at 140 pounds, who lost his title to Devin Haney in Devin Haney's first fight at 140 pounds, revealed something major. And that is that he did not get any money from the back end of that fight that took place with Devin Haney. And that means neither did Devin Haney. And since we know that, we know that that fight cost Devin Haney a whole lot of money to make. Now, before I get into that detail, to the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It makes a huge difference to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Matty O, Jay Milts, and the usual crew of people that are supporting the super thanks. Let's get into this. There are people who used to say that Shakur Stevenson really made a big mistake when he did not take the 25% per split that was offered to him by Devin Haney and for him to insist that he get, he go to the WBC, they start a mandatory negotiation period so that he can get a better deal uh, against Devin Haney to, 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 uh, fight as a mandatory challenger to Devin Haney's 135 pound WBC belt. Well, it looks like Devin gave up a whole lot more money than Shakur did by not fighting Shakur Stevenson. As Regis Progray said that he didn't get any money from the back end of that deal. Now, we know what the purses were. The purse for Devin was $1.5 million and the purse for Regis Progray was $1.5 million. They put the fight on pay-per-view and between the gate and the, the gate and the pay-per-view, the fighters were going to make additional money. Well, regardless of what the purse split was between the two, the, the, the split was for the pay-per-view and the gate and all of that, regardless of what that was, if you have to make a threshold, the promoter has to make their money before they pay any additional money out. So if Regis Progray did not get paid on the back end and Regis Progray said, hey man, the promoters and these guys are saying, you know, that the fight didn't do well. And he said, I don't know. I don't know what it did. I just know I didn't get any money. I didn't get any back end. So the fact that he didn't get any back end means that, Ter that Devin Haney didn't get any back end. And if Devin Haney didn't get any back end, he just got his purse, which is $1.5 million. Now, seeing as Shakur Stevenson, my understanding, his purse against De Los Santos was $3 million. A three million dollars time is like I. It sounds like it is one point five million dollars more than Devin Haney got 
fighting Regis Progre. It's Shakur got one point five million dollars, got twice that fighting Edwin De Los Santos for Devin Haney's belt. And you can only assume that 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 Devin Haney would have made significantly more money fighting Shakur Stevenson. Number one, that fight, the purses were higher. Number two, Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney would have actually probably would have actually been a really big fight and a fight that was per pay-per-view worthy. And it more than likely would have gotten a couple hundred thousand pay-per-views. We can also do away with this idea that 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 um, Devin Haney and Regis Progray sold a couple hundred thousand pay-per-views at that price. No, 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 it did not. Because a couple hundred thousand pay-per-views, you and you only have a one point five three million dollars in gate, you know, in in purses. But you're selling two hundred thousand. You sell two hundred thousand. Uh, you sell two hundred thousand paper uh pay-per-views. If I just do a quick math of that, let's just do two hundred thousand times fifty, because I think the pay-per-view is more expensive than fifty. <laughs> Times fifty dollars a pop. That's a ten million. That's ten million dollars, right there. Of which they probably they say eighty percent of that goes to the fighters. So you're talking about it. You're talking about several million dollars more. Definitely, me. You're definitely not going to not get anything additionally on the back end because other people have done two hundred thousand and gotten money on the back end. But if you take really big purses, you take only time you that wouldn't take place is if you get really big guarantees and the and the pay per views never really meet and the fight and the promoter doesn't make any money. <laughs> So it seems like last laugh goes to um, Shakur Stevenson on this one. And also, again, people can stop saying that Devin Haney did 200,000 pay-per-views when everybody in their everybody in their anybody in their right mind knows that that is not the case. It was not some big it was not some big fight everybody was looking for. Also, that fight and I've showed this graphic before I'm not going to do it in this video. That fight did not sell out. Did not sell out. The gate was one point seven million dollars. It did not sell out. You got three million dollars in purses. The pay per view, of, and then the pay per view doesn't make enough to make back in to, for them to pay any back in money. Look, man, maybe you should fight the best. Maybe you should win. They people say the best want to fight the best. Maybe you should fight the best because Shakur Stevenson is on another level from Le Regis Progre. That is not an example of fighting the best. Going skipping out of Shakur Stevenson and going to fight Regis program and, and it and it reflected in the numbers. And then what happens moving forward? Well, you got to take 55 45 for 55. You got to give uh Ryan Garcia 55 percent and you take 45 percent of this pay per view that you guys are on now that now doesn't look like it's doing tremendously, it doing tremendously well. But you know, hey man, <laughs> who cares about math? Anyway, people always say they want to fight the best. Oh, I want to fight the best. I want to fight the best. Then you go and fight a guy that is nobody considered the best at 140 pounds, really. And, you know, didn't rematch Lomachenko. That Lomachenko rematch could have done very, very well because um, there was a lot of interest in the rematch for Lomachenko. That could have, you know, obviously that could have been pay-per-view and done very well. But, hey, man, it is what it is. Uh, we'll see what happens moving forward. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.